We can actually define an expression right from our home screen or through a program. We don't have to actually always click our y equals editor. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we want to define what the function is by starting with alpha and quotation marks. Now, for a y equals editor in function mode, your standard variable is x. So let's say um, I'm going to say that this first function is 2x plus 1. I close it with another set of quotations and I hit store. I'm going to save this to one of the typical variable names in the y equals editor. So I click the variables button, scroll to the right. This is a function. So I pick one of these functions right here and I'm going to store it. So I'll choose the first one. So now I'm saying store this function as y1. Hit enter and as soon as it's done you know it's actually done it. right? So now if I go to my graph, right, it'll graph the function right there. You can see it here in my y equals editor. You can ignore this. This is just something else. I'm saying that y2 is the inverse of y1. Um, but the point is that you can set this all up on your home screen, which might be useful to you in some instances. All right, thanks.